So some of the topics we will be covering will be starting a Revit project. And once we're in there, we'll learn how to locate the toolbars. And I'll also show you how to view and navigate your way through the project. So let's take a look. So when we open up Revit for the first time, we have this start window here, which basically allows us to access old projects, start new projects, or access templates. In addition to that, we have the ability to kind of access some quick resources that either help us get connected uh, to the App Store, get us some quick knowledge on what's new, and maybe also um, access to help. So let's take a look at what we have on the screen here. So the first area here, the top portion of this area, is not unlike what we have in AutoCAD. Now, if you recall in AutoCAD, just to this area here to the top left, we usually had this area where we can actually is a square graphic where we can start drawing. We also had the ability to access various drawing templates. Well, very similar here in Revit, we have that same area for this top portion here. So we have the ability to basically open up projects that we've been working on. We can start new projects. And we also have the ability to access various templates. Now these templates are beneficial because they give us a great starting point to start off a project. And not only that, they're kind of discipline specific. So we have a construction template, architecture, structural, and even mechanical. Now just like in AutoCAD, I have the ability to access really quickly some of the more recent files that I've been working on. And you'll see that here to the right as well. So I can click on any number of these and I can access the most recent files. Now, just below this black line here, we have a similar area, but this is more for families. Now, this course is more focused on putting together some 2D deliverables, so we're not going to really dive too deep into family creation. So, for the sense of, or for the sake of the scope of this course and simplicity and explanation, let's just know that when we're working with families in Revit, especially for the first time here, all a family is is a basic building element. So, a family can be, for example, a floor, it can be a wall, it can even be a roof. So I don't want to overwhelm you too much. My main goal is to show you how to create some 2D deliverables so we won't dive too much into family creation. But just like with projects, I can open up old families that I've been working on. I can even start a new family. I can create conceptual massing families. And I also have the ability to access Autodesk Seek to get some third-party families. And just to the right of that, I can also access some of the more recent files that I've been working on. So that's the two main areas. So again, we can access new and also old projects as well as families. And I also have the ability here to the right, just like in AutoCAD, it's kind of like a little resources center here where I can access uh, anything that's new with this particular release. I can get additional help on topics that I might need help with. And I can also do things like access the Autodesk App Store, which I highly recommend checking out because there's some really nice apps in there that can really enhance your design and Revit experience. All right, so those are those three main areas here. So for projects, families, and resources. Very similar to what we have when we're starting out with AutoCAD for the first time. So let's start off by starting off the project, and we'll go with an architectural template. So I'm going to go ahead and left-click on architectural template. And we'll give Revit a second here to open up this project for us. And what we have is our first project. So the first thing I want to do is let's navigate through this uh, area here. So the first thing I want to look at is the application menu. And just like in AutoCAD, we have an application menu here in Revit. And ours is represented here by this nice blue R. And what I can do is I can expand this, and I have the ability to start a new project, or family, or conceptual mass, or title block. I can also open existing things that I've been working on. Again, projects, families, Revit files, things of that nature. I can save. I can save as. I can save things as projects and also templates. I have the ability to export if I'm working in more of a collaborative environment. Um, so I can kind of scroll down here and I can export you know, various formats here. If I'm working with suite workflows, I have the ability to do that as well. Um, if you're working from, you know, with 3D S Max a lot, you have the ability to kind of link up and, and get a nice little workflow with that as well. I can publish and also print my drawings. So we also have the ability to access any of our more recent projects that we've been working on. So let's go ahead and open up a project together. So I'm going to go ahead and, while we're in this application menu, go to Open. I'm going to expand out to this window here. And I'm going to go ahead and go to a sample file. So when you open that up, we're presented with this file full of sample projects. Now, they vary in discipline. So these RACs, Revit Architecture, RMEs, more mechanical, RST is structural. So for us, we're going to focus on more of the architectural. So maybe we can go with this 
RAC FASIC sample project. So I'm just going to select it and I'm going to come to open and I'm going to left click on open. And open Sesame and we've opened up our first Revit project together. So I think this is a pretty good stopping point here. So in the next clip, we'll go ahead and take a look at the ribbon and also the draw area.